this will be the fastest possible start for brand new players playing Dark and Darker. If you've never played Dark and Darker before, or maybe you played it a few rounds and you're having a lot of difficulty staying alive, getting items, or even leveling up, I'm going to help you and give you a nice foundation so that you can enjoy this game and play it at a very high level. But before we do that, let me just talk about settings super quick. Go to options and there's a few things that are very important to have. Okay, audio. You want to make sure to have it up, whatever's comfortable, but you want to be able to hear footsteps, so mess around with the audio. Also on video, have everything as high as your computer can render it. Make sure rendering scale is 100. Make sure your frame rate matches your monitor's maximum frame rate. You can also mess with screen brightness, though I recommend doing this on your graphics card settings instead of the game. And then finally for inputs, make sure that whatever controller, whatever uh, you know keyboard setup you have, that you have two buttons that are able to be pushed at the same time comfortably, and that is crouch and walk, okay? And because this is the only way you can silence your footsteps, you can silence how you move, and it's very important for PvP, but you need to crouch to get to certain areas, and you're going to need to crouch jump. That's another one, too. Make sure you can put, push your crouch button and your jump button comfortably. For me, my fingers are a little odd, so I hate pushing, you know, holding W to run forward and pushing control and spacebar, that's just like really, really awkward finger placement for me. So I have it bound to X. That's just my personal preference, okay? Other than that, that's all that's important for settings. So real quick, let's talk about character classes. Now, what I want you to do as a new player is play whatever you find the most fun. Like, I really like Rogue, but I don't think they're as fun as a Barbarian. Even though I have more success as a Rogue, I find way more enjoyment smashing people as a Barbarian. So Fighter is the current meta, it's the current S tier meta. Let me show you a tier list real quick and talk about it, okay? So Fighter with maximum gear is the best, strongest, most undestroyable class in the entire game. The only people that can beat um, a max geared Fighter is a Barbarian, <laughs> and that's only if you don't get hit by uh, the Fighter. Okay, so <laughs> with that said also, the Cleric can rat by staying in the damage zone for extended periods of time and has incredible self-sustain their starter weapon is incredible for PvE. They are a very easy to play and very newbie friendly, very starter friendly class to play. They're also the best class to have in groups, by the way. This is just for solo, but for groups you always want to have at least one cleric. And rogues can not only not only can they rat the best chests in the game immediately, they can just hide from everyone until they are able to leave the dungeon. So they're a great rat class. They're also amazing for PvP. If you can close the distance, they're very, very strong, uh, at least early on when they're geared. If Like a geared rogue and a geared fighter, the fighter will always win, though. Uh, and Barbarian can two-shot fully geared fighters. Barbarian is more of a for funsies class. Like, it's not that great for solos unless you just want to PvP in starter gear. I can run straight to a maximum geared fighter, and if he's bad at the game, I win every single time. And that's just how Barbarian plays, because their starting equipment, their starting weapon is super good, and they are the fastest character in the entire game, when naked, with a speed buff. I'm going to make a separate video on that, but Barbarian is by far one of the best just Zerg Rush classes. And then finally for solo play, Wizard is the F tier. Don't play Wizard if you're solo. Yeah, you can charge up a spell and blast somebody maybe some of the time, but they're very gear dependent. They're very group dependent. They're not good in PvE. They're not good for ratting. They're not good against groups of players. They can't really run away efficiently. They're very, they're the squishiest class. They are. You really should avoid the wizard unless you find it incredibly fun. So this is where a lot of guides get it wrong, okay? They're going to tell you to make your character enter the lobby, and they're going to tell you to do all of this, this and that crazy stuff, okay? The only thing that you should do is go to class, go to perks and skills, and read all of the all of the passives and all the skills and find out what you like to use as a level one character. You only have one passive slot. You need to be working on getting to level 15 so you can unlock all three passives. And the best way to do that, because you only earn experience points by killing mobs, not players, is to completely ignore the game's objective and just PvE. So starting off, whatever character you pick, pick the best perks and the best skills for killing monsters. Also note, for PvE, you generally don't need any defense because of the way mobs currently work. Their AI is very basic, so all you have to do is run towards them, they'll swing, you run backwards, and then you can attack on them. You'll take no damage if you're surrounded or if you're fighting a harder mob like a Skeletal Mage or Skeletal Archers, you will take hits. But the faster that you level up to 15, the sooner you can just ignore the PvE of this game and go straight to the PvP. 
Okay, so before you start, after you've completed your, you know, skill choices and perk choices, you're going to go here to this little server choice list and try to pick maybe US East or the EU Central. Most people play on these. Your queue times will be dramatically reduced depending on the popularity of the game. During this playtest, sometimes you could wait six minutes for a match if you're from Brazil. Whereas if I go to US East and I click start, it can be pretty much almost instant lobbies. So let's just find out. This lobby has 11 out of 16 users, 12 out of 13. See, yeah, it's basically an instant lobby, okay? Uh, so no, no six minute wait times for us. Okay, so once you're in the game, all you're going to focus on as a new player, you're not going to focus on killing other players unless you see one. You're not going to focus on escaping the dungeon or even escaping with loot. Don't feel bad if you don't escape with loot. Your goal right now, your entire goal is to just level up. That's all you're doing right now. You are just going to go around and kill mobs and gain experience so you can unlock your three passive perks, okay? Those passive perks will absolutely change the way your character works, and they are absolutely worth the grind. The grind is super quick because it's a playtest. So, I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. I'm just going to tell you the quickest way to get into the game. So, all I'm going to do right now is mob farm. That's it. I'm just going to sit here and uh, kill mobs. And, you know, and if this is your first time, this could be a threatening mob, but after you've played for a little while, they're not really threatening. See, that mob's already dead. And uh, these guys are real simple. As a new player also, you should go ahead and loot them because they can have weapon upgrades. And if you find a weapon upgrade, and that poison gas is going to touch me, um, maybe not, uh, you will be able to farm mobs so much faster. So what I'm doing is I'm going to stay on the outskirts of the map and just kill mobs until I die. Or sometimes what happens is everyone else will die because they kill each other or they die to mobs. Okay. And I'm taking a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Well, I guess I didn't take any damage. But we're just going to sit here, and we're just going to kill mobs. And this is going to level up our character. Okay? So by staying on the outskirts, I will have a less chan percent chance to encounter other players, because most of them beeline to the center. Sometimes they don't. Players only looking for fights will actually poke around on the perimeter. But this means that they usually probably won't be geared. So feel free to change out your gear as you kill mobs, but don't worry too much about looting chests and breaking barrels. That doesn't give you XP, and chances are, without your perks, you're not really going to be getting out alive anyway, so just don't worry about it. If you want to, it's if it's your first time, go ahead and loot the chests, but most of the time, it's just garbage, it's just treasure, You'll, you're leaving yourself open to being attacked by players. So there's a crystal sword and plate boot, so I can go ahead and, you know, put those on if I want. I uh, This is for wizards, apparently. Um, but, uh, as a fighter, I do have a perk where eventually I could wear, I could use all weapons. So that would have been a weapon upgrade if I was leveled up more. So it's, this is why it's super important for you to hit level 15 as soon as possible. It does not take a lot of time. And, uh, as soon as you die, you just, uh, hop out of the game and you join another and you continue mob farming. Okay. It doesn't, you don't have to escape to save your XP. You can just simply kill mobs. And if you die to mobs, that's totally fine. Uh, like, if the map is mostly empty and there's no mobs, then you can just either escape, die, maybe find some PvP, and join the next one. It's really that simple. So, uh, here we go. We're just getting slight upgrades. This makes the PvE easier. You don't have to equip anything. You can just use your starter equipment. And, uh, yeah. So, there's plenty of enemies in there. Uh, this is actually... This is kind of funny. There's two really good spawns for, for uh, like, speed leveling, and I got the second one. This is the second best area in the whole game to mob farm, okay? Really, really good. Also, I just want to note, too, for combat, you don't have to spam left-click. You can just hold left-click. So, uh, we've go we went ahead and... Look at that. We got even another upgrade, I think. Yeah, it looks like an upgrade enough. And sometimes you'll find powerful weapons on these, so that's why I'm doing it. So, there we go. We're going to go into this area now and clear these mobs. But, yeah, this is... This is actually best case scenario. If you spawn here or in the top right of the map, you're in a really good position. I'm going to try to get around him. I can't, so I'm going to eat that gas. And uh, unfortunately, he won't let me in there because he's body blocking. And I don't, I don't really have a stab move, so I don't even know if I can attack him with my current weapon. Okay, well, let me in. <laughs> there we go. He let us in. All right. And these are also really easy mobs to kill. They always do, a, like, a fart gas attack, okay? And then after that, because, like, I can just circle around behind this guy while he's casting fart gas and get so many free hits in. Also, the little dragonflies up here, they're they are uh, attacking, too. 
and uh, the fart gas took out the other mosquito thing, the, the firefly. So yeah, did I check this guy already? I did not. But yeah, if I had that perk, I could wear that armor. And uh, there we go. We have a little potion if we want to, you know, do something funny with it. And if you want, you can loot these. But I've already cleaned out the mobs. Uh, so yeah, we were level one when we started. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the round here. I won't bug you too much. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll finish up this one. This is the kill wall, by the way. If you touch this, uh, you'll start taking damage over time and eventually get killed. And it's fine. It's okay to die. I, I want you to know that it's okay to die. Uh, don't worry about any equipment you lose. It's it's fine. You're you're strong enough with your default equipment anyway, so don't get too attached. Right now, your mission in this game is just farming mobs. So at this point, I do have to like start working my way towards the middle, otherwise I will die. Unless I find some mobs to kill, and uh, you can see a player went this way, which is interesting. Uh, or maybe I did. It's kind of hard to tell, but. We can drop down there, and there's a bunch of mobs down here. I'm going to definitely die, though, from it. So there is a lot of mobs. And, uh, you know, th this just uh, kind of helps you get, the, get a feel for the game. Let's see if I can... Yeah, I'm going to totally die here. That's fine. It's totally fine. It's okay to die. It's absolutely fine to die. All right. Uh, so let's see how much XP we earn now. And uh, we are... This is... Uh, oh, by the way. When you click class, and you see this bar here, this 1 out of 40, that's how much experience it is to get to the next level. So I am now level 2. So I'm just going to repeat that until level 5. Oh, I just want to update you on a few things. This could change based on balance patches and whatnot. But basically, every normal mob that you kill is 5 experience. And once you level up in a dungeon, you can't level up twice. So you have to exit or die so you can join a new one and then level up again. So uh, you just count. Like, I need 40 XP to level up, so this is going to be 5. I'm just going to step away. Or you can tank the hits. It's fine. It's not, it's not super important. And, uh, again, we're just tanking the hits here. And we killed one. That's 5 XP. Easy, right? Then we still finish this guy off. Just back up. Hit him a few times. Just kind of take turns like an RPG. You know, just back off. Hit him. Hit him a few times. You can also block. You can practice blocking on these guys, too. But uh, there's actually a lot of mobs in this water. There, this is such a good XP. Uh, farm too. This is actually the third best XP farm area, and I know I keep saying this stuff, but just throw some torches down there so you can kind of light up the area, because uh, it, uh, it, it is water, but you won't drown, okay? There's tons of little zombies and mummies that are all buried around in here, so just walk around, aggro a few at a time, and just start, and just take them out. And it's fine. This is a nice wide open area, so you can cleave a bunch of them at once. It's not a big deal. But uh, we made 10 XP, and I need 40 to level up. So this is another 15 right here. So we're almost level 3 now, and we just started. Also, the enemies will hit each other, by the way. Um, so you can... <laughs> it, it's interesting. Uh, now, I don't know if you get XP if a mob kills another mob. I, I have not tested it. But you can see here, it's just, an, it's just a good grind spot. So make sure that you count your XP. Remember, it's 5 XP per kill. And uh, you don't want to go overboard. I'm just... And again, you just kind of learn the flow of the game here. <laughs> it's, uh, I know it's a little boring to grind, but it is, it's got an RP, it's got RPG elements, and you're going to want every passive possible. So, I'm going to continue playing for a bit, and, you know, I could pick this up if I want, but basically, whoever kills me, you're just giving them more money, usually. Uh, also, you don't have to kill them with your weapon, you can use that uh, Molotov that I found. And, yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to continue grinding now. Now, another quick tip is if you look in the top right corner, you'll see the kill feed. And there's only 16 players, including yourself, in a lobby. So we can see that there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, so that means there's 6 more people alive. That's usually just 2 3-man groups. So if you want to stay on the outskirts of the, uh, the circle and continue to farm you know, mobs, maybe you just loot chests... Uh, if you want to try to escape, because I got I got some loot here. This is some okay starter money. Like, I got a purple buckler here. Um, you know, it's not bad, but um, basically, like, there's players in there. You see there's fart gas, and um, I saw movement. So now I'm walking and crouching, and I'm going to turn off this torch. I can hear people breaking jars. Now, this is where, if, if you want to be a rat, you don't have to engage this guy. You can just leave, or we can fight his ass. Okay, I'm excited. I'm going to go fight him. I know you're excited for me to go fight him. I don't care if I lose this stuff anyway. So there's a player. He does, he's not a, he's not aware that I'm here. There could be a player in there. 
But there we go. He saw me. He's Now they're a team, so he's going to turn around. They're in voice chat together. This is usually what happens. So if you want to run, put away your weapon. Just put away your weapon and then pretend it's dead by daylight. Because you can turn around and close doors like that. And uh, yeah, as long as you don't have your weapon equipped, you run relatively fast. You can also strip naked and increase your run speed that way. But doors act kind of like as pallets. If you've ever played Dead by Daylight, you can actually shut these relatively quick, quickly and it takes them longer to open. But if there's two players, they can open it much faster. Is this... what's going on there? There's, that was a little graphical glitch. It looked like some like a player. So basically, I don't have much where else I can run to, but... I ran away, and it may not be worth their effort for them to chase me. Uh, <laughs> but for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and find them. But if you wanted to, like, save all this crap and, you know, make some starter money so you can, you know, play around, buy some healing items, potions, and play the game normally, that's totally up to you. Otherwise, shoot, I, I, I can probably fight them. Otherwise, I can take this path instead. And it uh, looks like there's some mobs in there. I don't need to farm any more mobs. Uh, I've already got the XP that I needed. But, uh... We can uh, go back to that little two-man there and uh, see what they're doing. They both had shields and potions and stuff. I say we fight them, okay? And and the more people you fight, the more comfortable you will get with fighting. So I'm just peeking in there. You can uh, you can peek in there. Now, here's a, t a tip, too. Uh, if you want to peek in a doorway, people can see you peeking. But if you turn off the lights, you can peek, and they can't tell if you're peeking or not. You can also listen. I hear footsteps. You hear them? Someone's walking around, but that, that sounds like a mob because it's kind of wet. Looks like they dropped a, a spell book there. And uh, you can tell that the, the party that I was chasing, they, they've shut doors behind them because they don't really want to fight either. But I can just turn off the lights. And uh, also another thing too, you can just sit in the darkness. And um, if they don't have hacks, well, when they open that door, you can go swinging. That's, uh, that's another fun way to set up a little ambush. So it looks like some fart gas going off there. And my weapon pokes through the door, by the way. So they can see my weapon poking through this door. And see, see, look, my weapon's on the other side of the of the screen there. They know I'm here. They literally know I'm here. So there's no real hiding. I also hear lots of footsteps, so I'm making sure. If you don't want people sneaking up behind you, shut the doors behind you. So that's another tip. But yeah, it's pretty damn obvious that I'm here because I'm... <laughs> see, they're buffing up. They're, they have a cleric. There's no way to win that fight. That's an unwinnable fight for me. So you should just run away. Like, Or you, you can you can also try to use mobs to your advantage. If you have like an invisibility potion, you can uh, aggro a whole lot of mobs and then go invisible. And the mobs will read uh, like assign their target to the players in front of the mob. And that's another way to play. Also, like you can go into the danger zone as long as you... Like, I can loop around. And come out the other side without having to go through those players. If I wanted to. But it's whatever. It's There's so many different ways to play this game. I'm just trying to help you out. Also, there are traps, by the way. Um, I don't have any torches to show you. But there's a spike trap on the ground here. Actually, two of them. Just stepped in one. And uh, you'll notice on the mini-map, you see the spike protruding from the wall. Uh, that means that there is a wall spike trap as well. So you have to duck under those. And kind of be in the middle of the room to not get hit by them. So I'm ducking. I'm looking down. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna try to jump in between these two traps here, but I'm being blocked by the torch. So, yeah, see, I stepped in that floor trap too, so I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage that I, I shouldn't be taking. So sometimes you won't die to, to players. There's a player, and I, I've got the jump on him. He doesn't know I'm here. The red portals make you go down to the next level. Let's jump this guy. Maybe. He's kind of fast. Oh, he's gonna jump in the portal. There's a guy in my left. Okay, so he, he clubbed me. And, uh, because I didn't have much health, but, um, also I, I should have fought him with range, but whatever. He's gonna probably, let's see if he loots me. So, so this guy just got a bunch of gems and, a, and an epic buckler. Now, uh, you could also play safely just like they were, you know, just open the portals and run away. It, it's totally up to you, but as a new player, don't worry about it. Your goal right now as a brand new player, just level up your character. See, I'm level three. Uh, you can see here, uh, seven out of 40. So I just need to earn 40 more XP. And, uh, once we hit that level five... We will unlock this perk slot, which we should, you know, for this character class, uh, use Weapon Mastery so we can use all weapons and not just the ones for our class. Okay, so let's say you've leveled up to 15. Now it's time to actually play the game, okay? It doesn't take that long, but I'm going to show you a way, a style of playing so that you don't have to stress out. You don't have to worry about gathering a bunch of coins and items and stuff like that, okay? All you do is... You just go hunt players, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So, I'm the Barbarian, and I want to run as fast as possible, and my armor doesn't matter. Boots give me a movement speed buff, whereas 
the armor and the helmet are, you know, they weigh me down and they give me less movement speed, okay? So I have a specific Barbarian build here that lets me run hyper quick. I'm going to make a separate video on it, so I make videos every day on this channel. If you're watching this the day this is uploaded, just come back tomorrow and I'll have that video out for you. Then it'll be all about the Barbarian. Super fun stuff. This is my favorite way to play this game, by the way. There's no stress, I lose nothing, and I have everything to gain because I can smash fully geared players and take everything from them in an instant. So, uh, this class can break down doors with one hit. He also runs incredibly fast while not having any gear. And I just roam the outsides where everyone spawns, and I just go immediately for the, the head. I just immediately go for headshots. I just beam it straight to enemy spawns. They may or may not have spawned there. And uh, I can usually just smash a few people before going down. Sometimes I can smash entire parties. So there's a guy behind the door. <laughs> He's got his bow drawn already. So what I have to do here is I have to actually close the gap before I can pull my weapon. And then I can club him in the head. And then uh, he's, he's going to run now. He's also protecting. There's a three man there. I lost nothing. Let me tell you about that, okay? I, I had absolutely... There was nothing I lost from that encounter. I didn't get to kill the guy that I attacked. But if I used my E spell uh, and hit him in the head, that could have been a one-shot kill because it ignores defense. But see, I'm already in another lobby. I'm already back in the action. And, uh, and, and like, sometimes if they didn't see me if, or if I got to jump on them, their backs were turned or they were, you know, a little less aware of my footsteps and stuff then I would have absolutely gotten uh, some juicy kills there. Absolutely. And uh, But in this case, it was a wide open room. You know, the archer had his, you know, bow already drawn at the doorway, which I opened. It was a huge disadvantage for me. And again, like I said, I lost nothing because that gear that I had, I start with it. There's no, there's nothing to lose. So, uh, you know, if you want to play this way, it's it's way more fun because you're playing it like in, like in kind of an arcade fighting killer game. Right, I'm just going to throw my armor on the ground so that I can maximize my movement speed. And because I don't have to unlock doors, I can just uh, I can just smash through them. Now, unfortunately, uh, this room here, or this spawn... I'm going to go this way, actually, because uh, more people spawn up this towards this area. Uh, and sometimes you'll see players popping out right where my cursor is. Uh, but so either they're slow or no one spawned there. So let's check. Sometimes you just got to open the door, and sometimes it's a party, like, rearranging their gear. Or if someone's AFK, or they're waiting. So in this case, there's no one there. Whatever. So we'll just go to the next spawn, except I'm stuck on mobs now, and that's fine. And again, there's another spawn right up here of another player. Sometimes. There we go. There's a player. He's got a Mimic aggro to him. He's also got a Ranger. So this is a 2v1. It's not too bad. I have to put my weapon away to close the distance. And, uh, yeah, we've already closed the distance, so let's, uh, let's one-shot this wizard. Oh, wait. Lag? Oh, do you see that juke? That was a crazy juke, and uh, there's one hit. That's that's a headshot, by the way. So here's the thing: as the barb, you like you have to put your weapon away, right, to run. But I have a movement spell that lets me run faster than them. So eventually, I will be able to catch this guy and punch him in the back. What is going on with this lag? Oh my god! But yeah, there we go. He's dead. That that's a kill right there. And I just punched him to death. Now let's go get his wizard friend, who is um. <laughs> there we go. So I'm gonna close the distance. We can dodge that spell. And uh, well, things now he's body blocked, and this is this is oh, that's a sick juke. I keep missing my attacks, but he doesn't he doesn't he can't really get too far. Uh, this is lag or something. I don't know what's going on, but uh, normally uh, he would be long dead. Okay, there we go. We got him. That's a double kill. So that guy's dead, and now you may be thinking, well, I'm dead too. But no, I run so fast. Look at all these enemies. They can't do anything, right? And, uh, well, I'm gonna die now because I'm stuck in a wall. Also, there's a weird lag thing going on. I don't know. But, see, I don't even have to finish this round. I could, you know, I could loot them. I could play normally. But we've already, there's already five people dead in this lobby out of 16. <laughs> so I can continue to hunt players. But I had my fun. And, you know, this guy could have some Gucci loot. Probably not, though. Uh, like, yeah, he didn't really have nothing. But, um, maybe his friend did. You never know. Sometimes you encounter a fully armored fighter, <laughs> and you just smash them. Also, I can just use the Shrine of Health here, using the crouch jump method I talked about earlier in the video. And now I'm fully healed, and I can continue to roam the map. And, and you know, this, this is just how you have fun. This is how you play. Uh, it's whatever play style that you prefer. That's what you need to figure out for this game. As a new player, I, I've given you the tools and the knowledge on how to level up super fast and efficiently so that you can unlock your skills. 
And but my most important, the most important takeaway of this entire video is, you need to figure out what you find fun. As I don't find it fun going treasure hunting and killing monsters. And, you know, being really tactical and, you know, shooting doorways with bows. This is my fun. I run around like a crazy madman, and I drive my axe through the doorway, which is super scary for the other player. And, uh, if I see another player, I just charge into them and slice their head open. And that is the most fun that I'm going to have in this game. I don't, like, if I find a purple, you know, or a, a legendary item drop, I don't care. That, that is not, that is not my, like, idea of fun. My idea of fun is just running to other players and then mashing their brains all over the floor. That almost looked like a player on the, on, on the side there, but that's just a uh, We got more shrines here. If one of these is a speed shrine, I might stop and get it. That is a fountain of speed. So, uh, I, I got way too many mobs on me, so I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to avoid it. And uh, at this point, you know, I'm like near the center of the map. I'm looking for players. I'm just, I'm just having a grand old time. I might or might not find a player because they're still. That, that's not a player. That's just a skeletal mage. Most of the time, at this point, I will just simply find a new place to go. These spiders were running towards this door for some reason, so maybe a player ran through the door and shut it. This is a player spawn, but you never know. It doesn't look like it, and I don't feel like roaming the map anymore, so I'm just gonna leave. Uh, I don't need to stay. It's fine. And uh, I can just join another game and continue to have my fun. I do want to mention, too, that my guide is based purely on solo play simply because I don't have any friends due to, I guess, my social ineptitude or something. I don't know what my problem is. But uh, here, here's my take on the game, okay? If you want to, you know, be a loot goblin and grab all the juicy loots and you want to worry about your items all the time, then you need a group. Because as like as a solo player, you could have the most gear possible, but without a group of players backing you up, you're going to get three manned. There's just no way around it. But when I have this barbarian playstyle, it doesn't matter if there's three people. Sometimes I can kill all three people. Look at this. We, I've already encountered like a, a duo, and I'm just going to run up. And the rogue is—he doesn't even know I'm behind him. The wizard does. All right, so he's going to run. That's fine. So I'm going to run for the wizard, who's charged up a fireball, but it's too late. Oh, man. What is up with this? They, uh, <laughs> remember, I have a movement speed buff. I just casted it. So this guy's cornered. There's a headshot. And I'm getting stabbed. That's okay, because I, I killed his friend. Now, here's, here's where I get my satisfaction. It doesn't matter that I died. I want you to see something. Okay, this is the match just started. These guys are a duo, okay? So now his friend has to wait 11 minutes for the match to end, or he has to wait for his friend to revive him, which is a huge pain in the butt. But it, it enriches their experience too, because it gives them a little bit of hardship that they otherwise wouldn't get. Now imagine if I killed both of them and they had really, really crazy gear on, like full purples, because my, my build and my character can two-shot any character in the game. So, if I manage to kill a fully ge geared player, it doesn't matter if I don't get the loot. What matters to me is that he lost the loot, okay? <laughs> and you can kind of inspect people, you know, before before the match begins. You can kind of see if you see any, like, fully plate-armored players. Like, there, there's a couple juicers down there. They're not fully geared, but they're semi-geared. And if I manage to kill one of them, and they don't have a party to revive them and mule their loot over or escape with, it's just... It's a win for me because I lose nothing. I lose nothing but time, and I have plenty of time. So that is uh, what I'm trying to drive home here is that you need to find what you enjoy most, okay? Don't play the game based how the game wants you to play. The game wants you to hoard loot and work as a team with a three-man. Like, literally, the devs are against solo players, but I don't, I don't care. I'm going to play solo, and uh, I'm going to make people's lives in this game miserable uh, by playing solo. <laughs> Uh, so, like, wh why shouldn't I? There's actually two spawns right up here. Hopefully I can inter intercept one of them immediately. So here's Johnny. And you can see that th there's an archer up ahead. <laughs> he just killed the skeleton, and now he's looting. And, uh, yep, so we're gonna close the distance. Oh, he pulled his sword out already. So this guy actually knows a little bit about what he's doing, but that's two. And if I get a third hit, I win. Boom, I jumped. You see that? That was so close. I hear more footsteps. So either he's with a friend, or there's someone going through there, or there's someone on the other side. But, you know, if you want, you know, Robin the good good, I like to just pull all their clothes off. And yeah, if I was tryharding, I could steal his campfire, but this is just insulting. You just take all their clothes off. I don't know. Now, you can see here, as a barbarian, I am, I am one hit from death. 
But, because I'm about to die, my damage is through the roof because that's how my passive works. So I'm going to run to the next spawner, which is usually right up here. And, uh, well, I don't see any players. So I can just hop on to the next game, or I can continue hunting and try to find someone else maybe in this room. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. And maybe, you know, like if I encounter an archer or a spellcaster, that, that dude's moving towards there. So I'm going to get shot in the back and die. That's fine. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. Can we find a player? Uh, looks like there's a no. I don't see any players. So you just gotta you just gotta listen and go towards the spawn. <laughs> oh, I'm dead from a wall trap because I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to my mini map. And that's life. That's just how it is. But hey, we killed that one archer. <laughs> And I'm just going to do this again and again and again until the playtest is over. Because this is the most fun I can possibly have in this game, okay? And then that's just me. That's the life of a solo player. Maybe you have a bunch of friends that you play with, like your co-workers. Or you're in some guild in a Discord and you have a bunch of people to play with. Maybe you're like a YouTuber that somehow knows how to make friends. And you have a big following and stuff. And of course you would play as a group. You'd probably play a cleric or, or a wizard, you know, or, or something. And like, like, this guy's got a little bit of gear on him, you know? Like, uh, it'd be fun to spawn next to him and, and two-shot him, right? That'd be pretty fun. Uh, assuming I don't chop him in the shoulders. You gotta land those headshots. But yes, you, what you need to do after you've figured out which class you want to play and you've leveled it to 15, just find out what you find the most fun thing to do and then do that, guys. I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. I make videos every day on this channel, maybe not for this game, but maybe, I don't know, if this video does well, I'll definitely make more. I know the game's not officially out yet. Oh, I missed the door, how embarrassing. I missed it twice. At this point, it's just laughable. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, so I'm gonna go run towards an enemy uh, or player spawn here, R coming up right here on my left. There could be a player, there could not be a player. And uh, in this case, I'm gonna check it anyway, because maybe they're AFK. Like, you gotta check and make sure they're not walking around. But in this case, no players, but we will find one. So yeah, videos every single day on this channel. So uh, make sure you come back tomorrow for a new video. And I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, it's stuck under that one this time. It's not gonna get me. Okay. And uh, don't beat yourself up if you lose loot. It's totally fine. All right. Let's see if he runs or if he comes at me. Sometimes they'll fight. So, oh yeah, this is what this is the juicer I was talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, we're fighting. Oh, yeah, I can't, it's hard to block that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, dang, he's got two blocks on me. There we go, we two shot him, though. And uh, look at that. Let's go ahead and... I hear noises. Let's throw that. Ah, oh, he's not juiced at all. Throw those coins on the ground. And any activity going on over there? Nope, okay. So we're gonna... <laughs> I hate, I could just do this all day. <laughs> oh, that guy lost a helmet. That's all he lost. It, it was a gray helmet. Who even who even goes in with that? Just sell it to the vendor. You're better off with the gold. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, if you wanna, if this video helped you out, you know, uh, and you wanna support me, click the join button down below. It is uh, five dollars a month. It's like. You know how on Twitch, you can subscribe to people for five bucks? It's the same thing on YouTube, but you get access to private, more personal videos. I know if this is your first video, you probably don't care about any of that stuff, and I don't have any elite exploits or glitches, but that's where I post them, is, is the members-only videos. Uh, there's a blue torch up there? That's a player. Uh, that's a co player cosmetic torch, so... Uh, there we go. Oh, Rogue, look at his... He's a skeleton. That dude was juiced. Uh, yeah, he did a lot of damage with his, well, maybe, I don't know, let's see. Let's see what kind of loot he had on him, but you can see that I took a good chunk of his HP. Wait, yeah, this is the guy. He wasn't that juicy, but, um, he did a lot of damage. So you can kind of look at their build there. He did weak point attack, ambush, stealth. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. I hope this, you know, fresh start, fastest possible way to get good, you know, to play... <laughs> Dark and Darker helped you out. Let me know in the comments. I read every single comment. I got like 70,000 subscribers, but I still read every comment. I have no life. On the right side of the screen is a video you should absolutely watch. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Take care.